Yeah, if you're a car lover, this thing's going to make you cry. The accident happened right over here. You can still see the ashes that were left behind after the vehicle hit a bridge pillar. Take a look at the vehicle. We're talking about a 2005 Bentley Continental. I looked online and found out when this thing was brand new, it listed for like $200,000 used. They can now be caught, purchased for around $50,000. This one, according to police, had paper plates. Did not appear that those plates were registered to any vehicle, so the officer tried to stop the car. But at that point, police say the driver took off. It was a short chase, but it reached speeds of up to 120 miles an hour, according to HPD. Officers say the car sped south along the Highway 59 feeder road. The driver apparently jumped the curb at the U-turn underneath the freeway and slammed into a concrete pillar. The car then burst into flames. It was totaled. There were two people in the car when this happened. HPD pulled both of them out. We're told only the driver is going to go off to jail. Now, HPD is still trying to figure out what's going on with this vehicle. As we said, it had paper plates. It didn't come back registered to any car, so they're not sure what was going on there. They say that there was a rental agreement inside the vehicle, but the name on the rental agreement and the driver, they don't match. They're not sure if this car is stolen or what. They're trying to figure that out this morning.